Uh, hey YouTube, this is me again. Just two things I want to say. One, to all the old school people that keep saying, oh, I've been on this earth longer than you, I've been down here longer than you, I know more. Question to y'all, since y'all did everything so perfect. Why do y'all have so many illnesses and sicknesses? Why well, most of y'all walk around on canes with bullet holes in your body? Most of y'all health is really messed up. Most of y'all got multiple baby mamas with kids that y'all didn't take care of that don't like y'all. Why is it that a lot of y'all have all these strikes against your life, but then y'all want to pretend like y'all generation did it the best? And let me just correct something. Y'all generation wasn't lovers. Y'all were lustful. Meaning instead of dating someone because you care about them, you dated them because they look good. One percent of y'all actually cared about the person you was with. The other the rest of y'all was just lustful as hell. Having babies out of wedlock and then leaving the woman for somebody else. So all this, y'all... Y'all would y'all know more? No, no, y'all don't because y'all generation messed it up for ours. Please stop saying y'all know more because y'all don't. Because if y'all truly did, why is it that it's taking my generation to fix the stuff your generation messed up? Second thing. The reason that most people wonder why a lot of these old school relationships last as long as they do, it ain't got shit to do with love. First of all, it does not. Back in the old school days, a woman had no choice but to stick with a man because, unfortunately, before the feminist movement, women didn't have the right to work or be independent or do anything on their own, so they had to stay with a man because he was the sole provider of the house. And here's another thing I should tell you. Most people wonder where the whole taking a man's last name thing came from. This is where it came from. Back in the day, since the man was the provider and the woman couldn't work and couldn't earn a wage, if the woman wanted to set or buy or, you know, buy anything or have anything, she had to take the man's last name since he's the breadwinner. By law, she would have to take his last name to have money to do anything with. The bank account, the house, the car, everything's in the man's last name. So if she wanted anything, she had to take his last name to get it. So all this, oh, I love my wife. I'm like, no, you don't. You didn't have a choice but to be with that person because the man was the breadwinner. You were not. Stop lying. You didn't have a choice. And a lot of y'all had no choice but to love the man, learn to love the man you were with because he's the one who took care of you. And then the next thing on top of that was all the abuse and the cheating and the lying and the stealing. What I mean by that when I say it is, back in the day since men carried the power and they made the money, they paid the bills, everything was done by men, and the women couldn't, how you say, survive without the man. The man knew the woman had no choice but to deal with whatever he did because without the man, the woman couldn't survive. So a lot of the time, guys from back in the day would cheat on their wife because they knew... Uh, I can cheat on her, but she ain't going nowhere. Uh, I can hit her, but she ain't going nowhere. Uh, I can do what I want, but she ain't going nowhere. So the man pretty much took advantage of his wife, and she couldn't do nothing about it. Plus, if she, if they had kids together, she was trying to stay strong for her children and stay with the dude she was with because he provided for the house. So if there was abuse, there was neglect, there was cheating, there was lying, a whole bunch of stuff, she stayed with him for her own ability to survive and her children if there were any. That's why I say a lot of old school relationships ain't built off of love. They were built off of survival, not love. But then you stay with a person so long you have to learn to love them because if you don't, where was you going to go? Because back in the day, if a house didn't consist of a man and a woman and children and it wasn't conductive, it was broken. So, that's all I'm saying. Then if the man came back from a hard day of work 
and his wife was slaving around trying to keep the house clean, take care of the kids. He came back. The food was burned. He, he abused his woman in front of the kid. Did not care. Literally would hit her, throw her around, beat her, all that stuff. Because he, he was the provider, so she couldn't go nowhere. So if you wonder why a lot of old school relationships last, it ain't because they the love was there, it's because of the survival. And the woman had no choice but to love the dude she was with because he took care of her. But ever since women got tired of not having the same rights as men, that's where the feminist movement came. I think that was like the 40s or the 50s or something. And that's when women earned that right to be able to work. And after that point, they left the man, took the children, and they proved to the dude, I don't need you, I can do it on my own. That's when guys start getting like, oh, oh, now you think you somebody because you could work. Man, you ain't sh you ain't nothing. You ain't going to make it without me. And then they proved to do wrong about working hard as hell to build a life for themselves and their kids. So if anybody ever wonder, oh, how my, how my, how grandma and granddad stay together this long? Times was different back then. Women could not work, so they had no choice but to stick to the dude they was with. And that dude could abuse them, abuse the kids, cheat on them, lie to them, whatever. That is how it was. That's why you have a lot of feminists now because of the stuff that was going on back in the day. Especially with the male bosses sexually harassing the women. That's why you got the Me Too now. Because... All them old heads from back in the day that was sexually harassing the women, now it's coming back on them. So don't admire all these old heads and these long relationships because unfortunately to say some women stuck to a certain relationship so long they got too old to move on. So they figure, eh, I'm too old. I can't move on now. I'm almost probably going to leave this world at any second. So let me just stick with this dude. I've been with him this long. So why not? So you just have to learn to love them and deal with the crap that they do to you. Help get your kids through college, help take care of you, help all that shit. So, and, and literally women from back in the day had to learn to ignore a lot of the stuff their husband was doing to them because they had no choice. So, again, don't think all these old school relationships was perfect and women back in the day were scandalous too. Don't think they weren't. Because even women back then had they, sh but the men are the main problem because they was very sexist and shiver, I mean not shiverous, but whatever the word is, it means that they took, up, they took advantage of women because they knew they could. That's why a lot of old school women prefer to just be single and work hard. So, yeah, but there was that one percentage of old school relationships that actually loved each other, but it's rare. And just to say this, too, for all the old heads who want to brag and say they've been on this earth longer, that's not something to brag about, because if you've been down here past, probably past 50, God just don't want to deal with you because you're stubborn and you don't want to learn, you don't want to fix nothing, you don't want to change, so... What he does is called keeping you down here as long as it takes for you to change. And he takes the young people because he doesn't want to keep seeing young people get misled. So if they're being taken and you're being left, uh, there's something you need to look into. Because they're not being taken because they're evil. They're being taken so they can find a better solution other than here. Oh, his is getting left because most of y'all been messing up so bad, God just don't want to deal with you, so he keeps you here. It's a land of suffering. So if you claim that living old is a blessing, nah, if you don't live as a blessing, it's not one. If you do, it is. If you don't, it's not. So, yeah. All right, goodbye.